In this video, we are going to look at how to identify a failed optics and replace it with less interruption to your network and to your clients. Think about a situation like you have a data center. You know in a data center you have a lot of optics there and optics can go bad. But it will not be a regular occurrence, but sometime it happens. When it happens, it can cause a lot of problem for your network. So let's look at how to identify a failed optics in a complex data center network and how to get that fixed. In this video, I'm going to present a small network architecture that you can see in a data center network environment. So I have two Nexus 5K switches here and uh, I have a Nexus 7K here and I have a Nexus 9K here. This is where all your servers are connected to. And these are both in a VPC pair environment. So this is a port channel going from 7K to 5K. It's also a VPC port channel 2. And I have a port channel 1 that's also a VPC going from 7K to 9K. Think about if an optics fail in this environment from here or here, you will have a lot of problems for your servers to communicate with your client. You will have the slow network and getting packet drops here and there and uh, it will create a lot of problems for your uh, data center network. So what you have to do is, you need to identify the failed links and optics very quickly and should be able to fix it without much interruption to your network. So let's look at here, say these are the two port channels, port channel 1, port channel 2, you know port channel 1 going between 7K and 9K and port channel 2 going between 7K and 5K. Say if you have a port channel here, a VPC, if you have one link like this link has a failed optics, your entire port channel is going to have problem and when you do a ping to your servers, you will have a lot of packet drops there. So how to identify this link is failing and optics is failing. Say you go to show in port channel 2. And if you look at here, look at these CRC errors. These are the bad errors. And if you look at here, input errors, there is no output errors here. So CRC and input errors. This tells you something going wrong with your port channel here. You have a lot of errors here. But theoretically, you should have zero error in uh, optics. Another important thing you have to notice is whether these input errors are increasing rapidly or not. Say this can be from your previous optics replacement. These errors might have happened in the past and you did not reset the interface counters after the optics change. So these errors are sitting there and not doing anything. So very important thing is you have to continuously monitor this input and CRC errors, whether it's increasing or not. If you have a failed optics, these counters will be increasing very rapidly. Another thing what you have to do is, you have two links in the port channel. So you need to determine on which link this is happening. Right now I'm looking at the, the port channel, logical interface. You have to go to the physical interface and look at where this is happening. So show int ETH 145. This is part of the port channel. And if you look at here, input and CRC errors, it's only a small amount. It's not very significant amount. And uh, you can, you have to monitor whether it's increasing or not. And then you go here to 245, that's a second link in the port channel. And if you look at here, it has a lot of input errors and CRC errors. So this might be the culprit. So if this is, if this value is increasing, what you have to do is you have to get both sides of the optics to be changed. 
that's the best practice. You don't want to take a chance. But you can determine which side is failing by looking at both end of the switch and then see whether this counter is increasing or not on those sides. Also what you have to do is say you identify 245 as the culprit link. What you have to do is you have to shut this interface immediately because you have the port channel has two links. If you shut this one all your traffic will be prompted through this link. So at least you can fix the the errors and uh, servers can have a reliable connection but if you have a you might have a you know less bandwidth because right now you are shutting one interface in the port channel but if it is a 10 gig and your data center is not that much um, traffic heavy this 10 gig link should be more than enough to regain the access you have to replace this 245 this this link optics first and then unshut this interface, bring up both link in the port channel. Uh, also, what you have to do is, since you have some errors in this port channel also, what you have to do is, I would recommend you just do some regular cleanup on the fiber. It's better. Otherwise, you like, you can change the optics on this link also, but, uh, what you have to do is you have to do one at a time. Otherwise, if this port channel goes down, the entire traffic will stop flowing and that will create an outage for your data center. So you have to be careful how you do this um, replacement of the failed optic. After you do replace them, what you have to do is you have to go to that port channel 2 interface and you have to clear the counters. So clear counter counters interface port channel 2 and then now if you see show in PO2 all your counters will be reset. So all your input errors, CRC errors, output errors all will be cleared. So you will have a, a clear slate to start with with that uh, link. Uh, hope this video is helpful to you, uh, please do subscribe, like and comment on this video. Thanks so much. Bye.